Hey, hey guys, back for another video. Make sure you hit that notification button so you are notified when I upload videos. Also, hit that like button if you like the content and always send me some comments so I know what you think. So we are going to talk about this crazy lunatic, Brianna Hampton. Originally, when this um, story started coming out last year, I didn't talk about it because I'm like, hey, it's a married couple. You know, they're just going through whatever they're going through. But of course, as a female, as a woman, when she made those allegations of being beat, I automatically took to her side. But as a person with common sense, I said something just don't add up up like this this story and what she's saying and you know what i'm saying it seems this don't you know this don't add up but i was still quiet because i was like mm, i don't know but listen let's just keep it real let's keep it real since we're talking about narcissists women delusional women let's talk about this psychotic woman this lady, she needs to be in somebody's mental health facility. She has four children. Could you imagine the type of damage this woman is going to do and is doing to her children mentally because she is a attention whore. She wants attention and she is dragging this man through the mud to get it. So let's just define what a psychotic individual is. The reason that I'm doing this video is because I would have thought that by this point, being that she is married with a, with a new man, that she has moved into the home with her four children, you would think that she would be happy. And that's a whole nother video. What mother moves a man you just met in your in the home of your little kids? That's a whole nother video. Let's define what a psychotic individual is. Because this one right here, she takes the cake. Psychotic. Relating to or affected with a psychosis. She got it all. Psychosis refers to a collection of symptoms that affect the mind where there has been some loss of contact with reality. Oh, yeah. During an episode of psychosis, a person's thoughts and perceptions are disrupted and they may have difficulty recognize what is real and what is not. Bingo! We know this woman done lied on this man from the be from the beginning to he beat me to he didn't beat me um to you know my father said you said you were going to delete me to my father lied let's get into those clips and come back for commentary because the reason why i'm doing this video did y'all know that this man had to press charges on this nutcase because she was getting people on the internet to spread new pictures of him now keep in mind keep in mind now this stuff happened almost a year ago they have separated he has filed for divorce why won't she leave this man alone keep in mind this was the man she said was beating her but it seems like she is the abuser let's get into this clip <laughs> Stand up, give it, give it, give it, give it off of them, give it off of them. that's what you are okay guys so that clip 
That is what pissed me off. Keep in mind, I don't follow this chick. So I give her nothing. Um, I'll go and look at her page just to see when people post clips, but I give her nothing. I do not follow her. I don't give her nothing because it's, it's, it's a, let me just jump right in. Okay. The video that I just posted that just highly irritated me to my soul. That was the video that she posted after she got out of jail. She think it's a joke, y'all. She think that this is a joke. Girl, you went online. So this is the way the justice system works. They're not going to just allow somebody to, you know, file a complaint and them issue charges unless they have significant evidence. This woman, from her, um, her information directly matches the information that was given out and it was definitely verified that it was her that had been soliciting people to do a revenge porn on him. Man, this is sick. This is really sick. So let me tell y'all something. Please don't support this crazy girl. Don't follow her. If you go to her page, just look to see how crazy she is. Do not follow her. This is all for clout. It is alleged when he met this chick, she was not into social media, um, but he thought that it was, you know, be a good thing for her because then she could make more money. So he ultimately uh, helped her to build up her platform, which we know now that he had a platform and she was just a regular smeggler chick, which she still is to me, but a crazy one. He gets sick, goes into the hospital and somehow his Facebook got deleted. This chick had a plan the whole time because it is alleged that she deleted his Facebook page. Well, let me tell you what happens. In a married couple, if you don't have it, then I have it. So what ended up happening is he ended up doing his skits on her Facebook. I mean, that's his wife. But what ultimately happened is now it built up her platform. I don't think he thought of it like that. I think he thought more so of it. This is my wife. Even if, you know, the money come to her, we're a couple. But what she did was she deleted, allegedly deleted his Facebook page. Um, and it was an opportunist move a move because she knew that then he would use her fo her phone or her platform, which was very small, to build up herself. So once she got herself built up to the three million or however many followers she has now, um, then her behavior just spiraled out of control. Um, Mr. Latruth has stated that she has done this somewhat like this before in the past, but maybe not to this extent. Um, and he pretty much, you know, let it ride, but ultimately she came to finish him. And if you guys have been following the stories, he has recorded and has stated all the time that he recorded her because he just felt that he could not trust her, which I'm glad that he did. Um, in one instance, he led her to believe that they were going to get back together um, and, you know, just told her to basically tell the truth. And I'm going to play these clips. I'm not going to come back on. We're going to talk about it now. I just want you guys to see the many clips where this chick originally said that this man beat her, then came back and said, oh, no, I don't mean he beat me um, physically. I mean, emotionally. Well, well ma'am, emotional um, and somebody putting their hands upside your head is two totally different things. Then y'all know Instagram and social media and the internet is not to be played with. People went and dug up another video of her saying that her first kid's father, because she has two kids' fathers. She has the three kids and then by one person and then she has the one girl by the truth. There's a video that I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to upload it. And she says that he beat her. So this chick seems to not have all of her marbles or she's permanently out to lunch. Um, then I'm going to upload a video, um, a conversation where she um, she allegedly told him that, yeah, and, and told the police that he threatened to delete her. And then in a conversation, gladly he recorded it, she said, she didn't say it. Her dad told her that. And then she's crying on the phone because she's like, I can't believe my dad would lie. 
not taking responsibility for what she did. This girl needs a social worker. If there's any social workers out there, please go check on those children because we don't know if she got them tied up in the basement, letting them come out to use the bathroom. This broad is nuts, so nuts, so. So that's all I'm gonna say right now, but I'm going to upload these different clips because I'm sure you guys have already saw it. But what I'm showing you is the part where she came back and admitted it, which kind of cleared my conscience because I was like, you know, as a woman, I want to take the woman's side, but I'm like, nah, I just can't be out here going with some bull crap. This broad is crazy. Please do not be out here following and condoning this foolery. Now she's online saying people are bashing her and people are um, bullying her children. Now, I don't know if that's another lie, but whatever happens to your children and hopefully nothing happens to them, you brought this on your family, you cuckoo patty. So I hope, you know, the children, everything is okay. And hopefully this is another one of her lies, but y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all, um, y'all go ahead and watch these clips that I'm going to upload. Okay. So it was, you don't take that down. I'm going to go and post this, like the video he posted of him saying that. I got mad at him because he didn't adopt my kids. That's a lie. I never asked him to adopt my kids. My kids' father are very active in their life. Just because wow. he can't see them every day because we live in two different states mm -hmm. does not mean that man is not active. But right. he put that out there so that people can look at me crazy. Mm -hmm. And then I got people who messaging me saying, hey, I got this blog. Your husband paid me to put this out about you. He also paid me to put news out there about you. And I'm like... What are you doing? Like, you're just you going so hard. Or nudes? nudes. Like, naked pictures. Wow. No, I thought you why said why would a nudes. blog? Why would a blog even have to reach? Because that's that's. And then they say, right. That. So he, so they like, if you give me money, I won't post it. And I'm like, well, post whatever you want to post because I'm not paying you shit. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's illegal. illegal. Like even even them telling you that is illegal. Right. <laughs> like you, y'all better y'all better <laughs> tread like, lightly. <laughs> like, so he gave nudes court. of you to a blog to allegedly. post. Are you allegedly using all this in court? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. So it's he because so I just knew there was a, a man like him. I just knew there would be threats and mm -hmm. just you know for you telling you a narrative. So. If he was to see something on MySpace, MySpace was the thing back then. And he would choke me or throw me into the wall. And he would also um, give me a moment. <laughs> I mean, every day it was something. Whether it was a choke that I couldn't breathe, whether it was throwing me into the wall. Whether it was um, pulling a gun out on me, um, I remember going to his friend's house, and he said I could go out with my friends. And so I'm mm -hmm. thinking, okay, cool, I get to go out with my friends. This is my first time. He gave me permission. And at 16, you don't know if that's right or not. Your boyfriend giving you permission to go somewhere, you don't know. So, of course, I'm like, oh, I get to go out with my friends. He going out with his friends. So, I meet up with him after I leave from my friends. I was in high school. Um, he was older than me. Um, I went to his friend's house. He come outside. Then he put a gun out, and he was going to shoot me. And um, it was, oh, well, he just loved me. He just trying to make sure, you know, I'm not being with nobody else, you know. I wasn't thinking that at 16. I didn't know what was going on. I just thought, it's just a boyfriend. He just want to make sure I'm not being with nobody else. Um, The day I woke up, that, that day that made me walk away was the day I didn't know I was pregnant with Joshua. But... <sighs> he was on my MySpace. And By emotionally 
JT never been abused to different times. That's what I said. When I said abuse for six years, I'm talking about emotionally, mentally. I don't think y'all know what fully extent of different types of abuse is. As well, because a lot of people feel like abuse is just being punched on, pulled down the steps, kicked, and that's not what abuse is. That's not the only type of abuse. There's mental and emotional abuse as well. So when I say abuse, I'm meaning emotional and mental. Y'all seen a lot of Texas. I'm talking about that mostly. Me having a broken finger <laughs> has never happened. Me being punched and kicked and like so many people made all these stories from I don't know what, but None of that happened to me. I never had a black eye. I never been thrown into a wall. None of that stuff. So when I say six years, I mean emotional and mental abuse. As people do arguments all the time. So when people, when I keep seeing this narrative of woman beater, woman beater, woman beater, I'm like, now I ain't say he damn pushed me down the stairs and black my eye and kicked me in the back. <laughs> and you know, People just took it way too far, but abuse is abuse. Okay, guys, again, I know this is not new information. The only reason why I'm bringing this out is because what is new is that this lady was arrested and recently released within the last week or so. So the reason, um, and that's really the only reason why I'm doing the video, because at this point, we need you to move on with your life, lady, and get you some mental help that you need. So let's go back down the videos that you saw. The first video you saw of her dancing and shaking her little stinking butt um, is basically she's celebrating because she was um, she was taken to jail for plotting a revenge porn against him, right? Yeah, but then you see her in the next video stating in an interview that she had gotten information. Now, keep in mind that interview was way, way earlier, months, months, months earlier. Could have been even last year. I don't know the correct time frame of it, but she tried to implicate him as the one that's putting out videos of her. You see how this woman has a serious problem she stated that he was trying to release a revenge porn on her and that people had contacted her with regards to this. And then she states, allegedly, that is how you know she's a liar. The lies, the lies, the lies. In the next video, you see her talking about her boyfriend. At this time, she's talking about his name is Deshaun. Um, and that's the guy she has the three children by. She states that he was abusive to her. Now, she didn't say anything about emotional. She said he put a pow pow, which is a G-U-N, on her and said that he was going to shoot her. This is what this lady stated in this video. And the reason why I posted the video, because I want you guys to see her saying it. This is what this crazy person stated y'all saw her stated Deshaun the three kids dad he married somebody else and of course you know that it wasn't her okay then in that last video I had to post the receipts she states y'all heard her what did she say she states that she was emotionally abused. She says she's never been thrown to, into a wall. She's never been pushed down the stairs. She said none of that stuff has never happened to her. So basically what she's indicating is nobody never put their hands on her. None of, she said none of that stuff never happened to me, which is telling you that she lied on both of these men. Then she had the nerve to state that the narrative that was out there, she said, I don't know where that came from. She said, woman beater. She said, she doesn't know where that came from. Now let's get into this final video. 
and then we're going to come back for, for commentary. Again, I know this is not a new story. I'm only bringing this up because the new information is she was arrested for the revenge pee thing, releasing videos of her husband. Now that's the new information, okay? Now let's get into this final video. I'm so serious. That's something you don't fucking play with. Especially at that age. <laughs> You're not fucking 20. You're not a kid. You're not a teenager. That video probably gonna be at a million views. And that's the only show. reason why I went and bought me a gun. That video probably gonna be at a million views right here in a minute. Watch that shit. That shit right there is gonna be everywhere. It's probably already on TikTok and everywhere. I'm sitting here wondering why I'm still getting all this negativity every damn day. You need to get some help. You need counseling. You need therapy every day. And painting me as this damn villain. I'm no. I'm, no, I'm nothing like that. Nothing like that. I'm a good ass dude. I'm a good man. Period. And the crazy part is, you know that. How can you even read these lies about me? How can you even read them? Like when they say stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they're saying it to you, saying that I'm all these names. Like you, how can you even read that stuff about me? Ain't nobody coming to me about that. Everybody telling me to move on and don't talk about it no more. Nobody's coming to me about you. Regardless, you know what they're saying about me. So why would you even, like, how could you, how you feel reading that stuff about me that you know it's not true? I'm not reading anything. I just told you that. How do you feel about your family calling you about a lie that Walt made up, knowing that you know that? I didn't know it was a lie, so oh I can't God, defend yeah. that. That's another reason, though. How can I come around somebody who would believe I would say that? Robert. That sounds crazy. If I, if I talk to your daddy when he here all the time, and your daddy come to you and tell you some shit, you don't fucking know. Why would you call your daddy a liar if your daddy never lied to you about something so serious? Walt lies about everything all the time. I don't remember him telling the truth about nothing. I can't think of a truth that Walt ever said. To be honest with you, I can't think of nothing that he said true. Like, this is something that you just can't even come back from. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to have a relationship with my dad right now. Like, that's so fucked up. So fucked up. And the fact that you actually repeated it out there, man. Come out your mouth. It sounds very believable coming from you. Not just you, but Desharia. Like, man, do you, do you know how this is going to affect her when she get older? That ain't no shit you play with. I'm pretty sure my brother none of them ain't saw that. And Walt was the one on camera saying it, too. You on there saying it. Was you over here when Dad said that to you or you was on the phone? I was on the phone. Oh. He wasn't telling the truth. I wasn't telling the truth. Dad. Now, like. How did you know that? How did you know he was a person? Because I talked to Robert and. Everything that he said, and then my dad telling little lies here and there. It's like, why would you make up something mm -hmm. so fucking deep? And then when I, oh. Let me say something to the weirdos in the comments real quick, too. I don't usually speak to y'all weirdos, and these are the ones that's being negative about me right now, okay? First and foremost, you came to my platform. This is my platform. This is Latruth's platform. This is Robert Hampton, Big Boss platform i play what the fuck i want to play on my platform you hear me y'all didn't lose nothing in none of this i worked my whole life to build my career and my brand and everything so let somebody take it away from me from six years do y'all not realize the endorsements people don't want to work with me this is my life all over these lies that was told on me if somebody told some lies on y'all y'all be way worse Y'all would actually be in. Okay, so let's just address that last video. So in that last video, um, Mr. Latruth 
um, he recorded her because again, he's noticing that this, you know, she is not being honest. Um, the reason why I showed you guys the videos, because I don't need to tell you a story. You can see it for yourselves. You guys hear her on the video saying that what was supposedly told to her was a lie. Well, the fact of the matter is, if you went online and you spread it a rumor about somebody and you didn't know that that to be you didn't know that to be true you are the one that's liable so all the crying and the crocodile tears and the fake stuff that you know she's doing it's just not acceptable um this lady has some serious issues and he is upset because People have bullied him. They have went to his page. Y'all have sent him messages. You know, people see one headline of somebody being an abuser and they never look to see what originally happened. The fact of the matter is, and I have to say allegedly, although we all see the videos and we put two and two together, this lady destroyed him. Because again, nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. And I was one of those ones when I first saw this, I was like, this dude did this. But the thing of it is, is when you constantly go on social media, you have to keep up with your lies. And a lot of people, they just can't do it because how do you remember a lie? You can't, you forget. Um, so I wanted to show y'all the receipts and I'm going to say it again. I only did the video because of the recent allegation where she was arrested for the porn thing. Um, so this is my commentary for this. And I have to say again, um, just for YouTube purposes, you guys have the videos. You heard her on the videos. You know that's her face. You know that's her voice. You know that's his voice. You know that's his face. Um, everything is alleged and for entertainment purposes only. And the only reason why I have to constantly make that disclosure, because I know Miss Brianna will get mad and she'll complain because that is what she does. Um, just judging from everything that I have saw, because people get very mad when you tell the truth, especially when she tried to sway public opinion. Um, and she really tried to do some very bad things to him. Um, so we are going to be on the lookout for these psychotic women because at the end of the day we cannot continue to blame men uh, for the world being effed up because guess what the women had a part of it to in, in it as well you need to get you some help lady and i hope you get your children some help because if you are the parent i'm so worried about those kids let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification. Um, and don't be in my comments saying, this old, this old. I've told you why I put the video out. I said originally I was not going to talk about this because I really felt like it's a married couple. You know, they're going through their stuff. But, you know, at some point, it's not just a married couple. He's trying to get away from her. Um so let me know what y'all think. See you in the next video.